The Commanders, I feel like they have some promise because they do have a new quarterback in Carson Wentz, but I still feel like there's a lot of question marks across the board for this Washington team that was supposedly going to be good on defense last year, and then they weren't, and now Chase Young is going to be probably missing the opener, maybe more because of an injury. Looking at their win total right now, it's 7.5, juice the over at minus 120. What do you expect from this Washington team? Yeah, I think that, you know, look, they've won seven games the last two years under Ron Rivera, right? One year was that division winner because the NFC East was obviously so bad. Uh, so that's really right where it has been. It, look, it looks like a roster that's better than that. He felt like it was last year. They had some really wacky stuff happen late in the year with, you know, everybody got COVID. Then you had a couple season-ending injuries. I mean, and it just unraveled those last three to four weeks of the season for them. They got embarrassed on national TV by the Cowboys. That was in there, uh, part of that mess. And it, it felt like all year they were underachieving prior to that. And they went on that run. And then, you know, after that, okay, you know, there's a chance to, and they're playing themselves back in. And I said, all those things happen. So, yeah, there, there are still a lot of questions. You know, yeah, Carson Wentz is a physical upgrade to Taylor Heineke or really anybody who's played quarterback here uh, for the last decade. But, you know, again, we, we understand this is team three in three years. You're, you're still a little leery about – about that, uh, even though they've added some good pieces around him, you want to see them go out and perform. You know, they let an all-pro guard go in free agency, you know, and Brandon Sheriff, he wanted to go get a big payday in Jacksonville, and he did. So you got to replace him. Uh, so the interior is a little bit different on the offensive line. Two new starting guards. So your starting center is coming off a uh, season-ending surgery. So that, that doesn't make you feel great uh, about them, although they've, they've always seemed to patch it together and do very well with, with – Rivera's uh, coaching staff here and John Matzkow. So, and you mentioned the defense. And I mean, beyond the Chase Young thing, I mean, the back seven was horrific last year. Uh, you know, on this defense, and a lot of that had to do with the front four that's where all the money is. I mean, really, outside of John Allen and Jerron Payne, you know, guys did not perform up to their level and, and it hurt them. I mean, Montez Sweat's going to have to have a big year. You know, and whenever they get Chase Young back, the whole key is just make sure he stays on the field. Yeah, I think I think a lot of our fans are more like, you know, that's okay. Take your time. This guy's still got three years left on a contract. Let's make sure he's back for good. Instead of rushing him back like RG3 did in 2013, all in for week one, uh, when he was uh, going into his second year here, which was one of the stupidest things that ever happened oh, in the franchise's wow. history, that somebody allowed that to happen, and a documentary was done for it. Uh, and the guy had a horrific season in his career, just went sideways after that.